not the way our societies are responding. Humanity means that um, our living species acquires the awareness of being the only living species that can be responsible of life in the world. Animals uh, cannot be responsible of uh, the rest of life of all other species. Vegetable, microbes, yes, microbes can be responsible, but they don't know. They are responsible, but they don't know. We, we can be responsible, and we know. So humanity must build herself. Today, humanity does not exist. Nobody is talking on the name of humanity. No. Even uh, Pope Francisco cannot speak in the name of humanity. He can speak on the name of himself, of Catholic people, but not humanity. Therefore, answering your question, the first condition is to start the process of the building. The humanity has been recognized as a subject, a juridical and political subject. Monsanto, for instance, is a transnational company. Juridically speaking, is a subject at global level. A state is a subject of international contest. Humanity is not. United Nations is not humanity. United Nations is a representation of the nation states. United Nations cannot speak on the on humanity. So if humanity is built as a subject which is aware of the great responsibility that uh, humanity has vis-à-vis -vis of uh, what we can call the global life community, which is composed not only by human beings, no microbes, all the species, compose the global life community. Humanity can be responsible of the global life community. And in this sense, the climate kind of change policy would be extremely different from today because the climate change today in the UN setting means that every state tries to get the minimum of the consequences at minimum cost, maximize the benefit of the so-called ecological transition, so-called energy transition, so-called city transition, urban transition. Everybody looks at this transition as the most useful way to optimize their own survival, their own energy security, food security, water security. The humanity, climate change policy, would be in the interest, if humanity is, of the humanity. Not, and the humanity will talk and will apply the life community security principle, not the national security. And uh, humanity will say, we are responsible of uh, planet, hurt, natural resources. We are not the appropriators of uh, natural earth resources. Humanity cannot but speak about common security and responsibility, not sovereignty. The humanity will not need to be sovereign because we don't need sovereignty if we are organized as a global community. We need sovereignty, it means capacity to defend the independence, no? Autonomy. When we are many and many states the purpose of which is to be stronger, more competitive, richer than the others. This is why security is a problem. But humanity will not have a problem of security in terms of sovereignty. So this is why climate change policy in the context of a built-up humanity 
would be entirely different.